My approach is definitely to work in partnership with each patient. Uh, first of all, trying to figure out what their particular worries and concerns are, and, uh, and that's where we start. And then we talk about the standard treatments, and then we also talk about the options we have to offer for clinical trials, new treatments that are coming down the pike that we have available at a place like the Seidman Cancer Center. It, it's an amazing place with lots of resources, lots of support, lots of really smart people who care. So I think that that's important that you have these two things at once uh, because sometimes you can have really smart people and they don't always show that they care. You can have people who really care and maybe they're not as competent and we have it all in one big package here. It's a really exciting time to be in uh, cancer research right now, uh, particularly in my field of gynecologic oncology and ovarian cancer, um, research that started in the lab at the bench in little petri dishes has now advanced to clinical trials and into clinical care where outcomes for women who are diagnosed with ovarian cancer have improved significantly. So women are now living years longer than they ever did because of our treatment advances. Clinical care in the future will continue to move towards more personalized and individualized care based on uh, not just where the tumor is, let's say it's from the ovary, but also what it looks like on under the microscope and what its molecular profile is. What are the genetic alterations in the particular tumor? And that's going to help direct care uh, to the individual. I also think we're going to move to more, more patient-centered care where patients are going to have a, a, a panel of options of treatment that may be equivalent and they're going to get to choose. And they're going to be much more active in deciding what side effect side effect profile is is going to affect them more or what's more important to them as far as their their lifestyle so one of the unique things about being treated in a cancer center is that we have um, panels we call them tumor board where um, a patient is diagnosed with a cancer and then we review the patient's case as a team so you're not only getting my individual opinion you're getting the opinion of the tumor board so that includes my fellow gynecologic oncologists but also radiation oncologists radiologists um, and pathologists who are all reviewing um, a a particular patient's case. One of the benefits of being a gynecologic oncologist is not only do we perform the surgery initially, uh, but we also administer chemotherapy and we also perform the long-term follow-up. So we develop these long-term relationships with patients and their families that are really unique and special. And that's the most rewarding thing uh, for me. The word cancer is scary, but I've got to say that um, uh, since I was a medical student, we can now say the word cancer without people immediately thinking of it in the worst possible terms. And we've made so many advances in cancer treatments that we have lots more options to offer patients that it, it doesn't have to become that stigmatized word any longer.